Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Of great millstone who taught us this truth to the spirit, and shalom to the mighty Akim and Aqua out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from his final captivity. And today's topic is going to be entitled "There Will Be Famines." All right. So, um, I was looking at some, um, scrolling through a uh, um, Instagram, and um, I noticed um, this one post that it said. Um, you know, where is it exactly, actually? Um, oh, yeah. There was um, cargo ships that were um, backed up, basically. Let me actually get the picture if, I, if it's here. Let me... Yeah, it was... Right here, yeah, exactly. There's a bunch of cargo ships backed up waiting to enter Californ the Californian coast. Alright? And this is not too long ago, just the end of the last month. Alright? So, with that, um, uh, again, in, they're saying major cargo backup could leave holiday shelves bare. Okay? Now, this in particular, it, this is from uh, WKRN.com. Uh, this in particular, um, they're, t they're primarily talking about um, um, non-essentials like toys and whatnot. But there are some more that we're saying. It also leads to food because I have some more um, articles uh, uh, that, that, that I will get to. Okay, so... Salakia, bear with me a moment. A moment. All right. So, basically, um, for this, there are imported goods are having a hard time um, making it, making it into America, and in addition to that, we also have the issue of decrease. Um, a lot. There's a lot less people working now because of um, because of um, the current pandemic situation that we're in right now. Okay, so a lot of people have been getting fired or it, or just in general because even people who have the venom, they're still afraid of people who aren't envenomated and venomed. I don't know the proper term is, but there are people who are still afraid, who who have been envenomed, okay, and they're still afraid of people that have not been envenomed, okay. That's the that's the dumbass logic that they have, okay. So, uh, moving on. In from the CNBC, CNBC, start your holiday shopping now. Here are some goods that may be running out of stock, okay? So as as of right now, you know, and this is in October, so a few days from me uploading this, um, they're talking about how certain goods are running out of stock. So we're going to see what goods they're talking about. List of goods. Supply chains everywhere have, hit, have been hit by massive disruptions this, this year. Con from container storages of, to floods and Infections setting off port closures. I right, um actually let's just find the goods because that's really all we care about right now. Um okay there food rising energy prices in Europe will have a serious cascading effect on regions food supply chains says T Aura. Major fer fertilizer plants were forced to cur output because of the rising costs and now farmers can't provide enough food as a result she explains okay so over so far you know the farmers are having trouble with and in addition to that they were also um farmers i heard about the farmers here let me 
get it. Um, farmers forced to destroy crops there. Pro perfect. The government telling farmers to destroy their crops? Okay. Fact check. Is the government t telling, trying to create food shortages by telling farmers to destroy their crops? Blah, uh, blah. Um, all rooting false. Um, a collection of videos circulating said the intent is the cause. I shouldn't. In this video, we will see getting letters. There's a caption. A caption for the post reads: "Post was flagged as part of the combat policy." All right. Well, you know, obviously, I don't know if you heard, but um, the government has been working with, you know, these big social media outlets like Facebook and Instagram, basically all of them for the most part. YouTube as well. Um, be, be, they're working with them saying, okay, um, we need you to stop the false, quote-unquote, false spread of information, okay? Also, getting envenomated is also free. Something that you should think of before. Think about, okay? Um, we're continuing here. And was told by the venomous offer. One times the value of the crops that the choice Rujit offer as soon as it is said. That means closely monitoring food. Alright, so literally they're not even answering the thing. Of course they admitted they were, they were, they quote unquote admitted that they were joking. But well, uh, then at this point then, you know, take that information with a grain of salt because, you know, you know, if, if it is true, then obviously they want, they want to cover it up. But if it's not true, then A, then I guess they're lying or they're just doing something, you know. But you never know, you know, I'm not going to uh, risk my video saying something. But anyway, um, where is that? Okay, so, um, number two, carbonated beverages, dry ice, packaged foods, okay? The pressure of, on fertilizer will also lead to a shortage of one very interesting byproduct, carbon dioxide, which is used in a wide range of consumer products, okay? So, like, I guess, like soda... And just dry ice and anything that's packaged. Okay, so yeah, toys, electronics, Christmas decorations. It's kind of weird. Also, uh, not important. But yeah, basically, foods. Foods are going to be running out of stock right now. Okay, and as I said before, um, the labor force has been decreasing because of envenomation. Envenomation. And venomation. Okay, next in, from BBC News: Food shortages could be permanent. Warns industry body. This was last month. Okay. Um, labor shortages in the food industry means consumers may not be able to find products they are they like in supermarkets. An industry boss has warned. Okay, and then he's saying also that it's permanent. Okay, so like like I was saying, labor sh labor shortages. Okay, you know, um, a lot. There's been um, what's it called? The um, it is mandatory that businesses with more than a hundred employees have everyone envenomated. Okay, if unless they have a uh, really good excuse or whatever, which I've yet to find out what that good excuse is. Um, the just-in-time system is no longer working. I don't think it'll work again. Um, Food and Drink Federation boss said... Usually. 
Okay, well, basically, okay, basically, yeah, we basically got it. So, labor s shortages and food industry, unless you want to read more, you know, you can, you see all the stuff. If you want, you can just find it. I showed the, um, the articles that you need to search for. Um, supply shortages, the FDC, FDF represents more than 800 food and drink companies in the UK. Um, supply shortages. Okay, so basically, um, panic. The, the panic buying that they did early on with the toilet paper and I think cleaning supplies or whatever is going to happen for the food very soon. Okay, and so we're going to be going through a famine very soon. All right, and that leads to my uh, scriptures that I'm going to be bringing out right now. Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there be, shall be famines, Lachia, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, so famines. There's going to be famines, meaning, um, obviously, um, there's not going to be any food. Okay, so during that time, that's when all hell is going to be breaking loose. But for us that are in this truth, we need to understand that this all has to happen for us to be delivered, okay? So we we pray and we hope that all this comes very soon, all right? But in addition to that, uh, another precept, um, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13, Thus, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Okay, so one of the things is, even during that time of famine, some some of us, even if we're in the truth or not, uh, some of us will have to endure to a certain extent, or some of us, no, yes, yeah, some of us will have to endure to a certain extent, but after we got through that hurdle, the Most High will provide for us. You have to have faith that the Most High will provide for you. All right, so it's it's. It's not in a sense that, oh, oh, I'm just going to give up and get envenomated so I can get some food or whatever. That, that's not what we want. We want to have faith and trust in the Most High. Don't trust in um, don't trust in Esau to provide for you, all right? And when the time comes, as, as time goes on, when we are getting through our struggles, we're, there's going to come a time when... The, Lord, the servants of the Most High are going to be fed and, you know, we're going to get our, get all the food and drink, but the Edomites, the, not even the Edomites, but all the heathens are going to be the ones um, hungry and thirsty and seeking out food. But we're going to be taken care of, all right? While they're in calamity, we're going to be taken care of, all right? And there's another precept, um... Luke 6, 24. Uh, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto, unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Okay? So, when that time comes again the our enemies are now rich they're full they're joyful and merry but after when all hell breaks loose and they're going to be suffering our enemies are su are thriving right now and we're suffering right now okay um when the time comes for them to be suffering we're going to be thriving we're going to be uh, uh taken care of all right you just have to be patient and have faith in the most that the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to take care of you. All right. Another precept in Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse sixteen: For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, be able. for because of their pride the city shall be troubled. The the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. 
a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Because now, the our enemies, they're going to be, Slaki, not our enemies, but um, basically the heathens in general, when all hell breaks loose, they're going to be want to, they're going to want to go and, you know, looking for food. Like, okay, I'm going to go steal food, food from anyone. Just, to get food because like it says lack of bread like just like the famine okay they want to go spoil make them a spoil and whatnot this is during the great tribulation all right this is a uh, very uh this is basically when all hell breaks breaks loose and it's going to be crazy all right and in uh romans chapter 8 verse 35 who shall separate us from the love of hamashia Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Now, for this, you have to understand that are you so you you started out in the during the trouble, you know, being a one third or not a slakia. Let me rephrase that. So you started out believing that the Most High is going to got got you, but then like you're starting to get hungrier and hungrier, and then you're seeing like you know what. Yo, does the Most High really ha got me? Like, like you start to doubt the Most High. You start to to doubt, oh, Yahweh Shai and whatnot. You, you, you start to doubt that you're going to be saved, all right? Because you just get so hungry. You could be hungry for a day or two or whatever. And then, and then like, that that's when, like, okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to give in. I'm going to join Esau Edom. And then, He'll 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 look after me. That's that's where you're going after immediate um, gratification or, or immediate uh, what's the word um, immediate uh, comfort. I guess I don't know, but um, for the most part, going after that that's going to lead to your destruction because if you truly love the Most High Yahweh, if you truly love Yahweh Shai, you would hold out until the end hold out all the way through it doesn't matter what you're going to go through and it lists all the things tribulation distress persecution famine nakedness peril of the sword being meaning even if you're getting killed or if you're starving or anything like you should hold out and trust the most high will provide for you and take care of you in that time all right and a precept to that is matthew chapter 24 verse 13 but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved okay you got all these uh, Christians saying, oh, I'm saved. No, it will. The scriptures say otherwise. You're not saved until the end. No one knows that they're saved unless they they actually get saved by the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? And uh, another, lastly, Second Esther chapter 6, verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of the world. Whosoever remained, meaning whoever, whoever, whoever was saved, whoever was saved, whoever had faith, whoever, you know, held out all the way until the end. All right, they're gonna see that they're gonna see they're gonna be able to escape. And they're gonna see salvation and the end of Esau's world specifically, the end of this world, the end of this wicked world in the rulership of Esau Edom. All right. But with that, I want to give all. I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all Slakia. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Double honesty, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who tossed this truth to the Spirit. And with that, I want to say Shalom.